Hey there. Welcome back to the beach. So I'm pairing um, meditations that I'm doing right now with a short yoga practice. So this is about the element of water, which is our second chakra, and as such, it relates to the hips and a little bit on the lower back, this whole area here. So I'm gonna do a seated flow with the focus being on the hips and the belly. Yes, or it might be a little reclining, seated and reclining flow, let's say that. Okay. Ah, so just get present with your breath. And if you're not here at the beach, if you're not outside, just imagine you are, and you can hear those waves around you. You might even hear the birds. But let that tide, those waves, just remind you of the water that you are, and that is all around us. And that in order to stay healthy, we flow. We have movement. And our emotions have movement. Our emotions have motion. They are birthed here into the in the second chakra in water. We are birthed in water. And feel your breath bringing you back down into your body fully. Uh, lifting up your head, reaching for the sky, the top of your head, your crown. And bring your arms out. Oh, reach for that sky or the sky behind me, and do a little back bend, and then drop forward into your first hip opener. Ah. Rocking side to side. And then as you exhale, reaching forward. Now, if you can't bend, if you can get your forearms down, which many people can't, use a pillow or a couple blocks or a couple books for your forearms, and drop your head down and breathe. Each exhale, reaching a little further forward. And then drop your left forearm down as you reach with your right. And lean over to your side so you're looking up. So you really feel that right hip. Take a breath. This uh, video sometimes goes backwards. So I'm going backwards hoping that you can see forwards. So as I do my left, I'm saying right. And reach. Bring that your palm up as you reach with your fingertips. And push that right forearm down. Good, take another breath and drop down. Then bring your arms nice and wide, bend your elbows and rock a little side to side. Like you're a crab or maybe a spider. <laughs> it kind of looks like a spider. Come all the way to your left, straighten out that arm, drop your nose towards your knee and then go the other way. Straighten out your arms, get the sand off your hands, bring your hands back behind you, bring your heart up and your head back. That's option one. Option two is lift and get your knees right on the ground. Take another breath and come all the way down and switch legs. Switch legs. This one. And reach up. Do a little back bend. See how high you can reach. Maybe do a little stretch side to side while we're up there. Ugh. A little back bend. And then again forward. Dropping your forehead. Just go as far as you can. If you can get your forearms down, get them down. Rock a little side to side. As you exhale, reach a little further down. Drop your forehead a little further down. Check out what's going on in that other hip and breathe into it. And then reach with your right, remembering I'm doing the opposite. Look through your armpit as you push your left forearm down. Oh yeah, waking up those hips. And other side. Another breath. 
bring those claws, our spider hands out to the side and rock a little side to side. And look over, bend your elbows, nose to your left knee. And then switch the other side, straighten out your left arm. Keep your other one bent. So you should feel that on the side of your hips. Come back forward and bring your hands back behind you again. Heart up. So this may be enough. Push your shoulder blades together. Bring your heart up. Really feel that opening of your chest. And option two here is get those knees touching the ground as you lift your hips up. Three breaths. One more. Come all the way down. Bring your right, your left, I hope. I hope you're seeing it the way I am. So I'm bringing my right, you take your left. Pull your knees back, pull your knees, pull your toes back and just start to drop forward. Ah, oh, that's a good hip opener. Drop your forehead down, three breaths. slowly up and then do like a log cabin here so you're gonna take now I've had a knee surgery on this one so if I had a pillow here I would bring it right there and flex your thigh so that you've got one calf right above the other and then just drop down a little bit Ooh. and a little more Feeling that on the outside of your hip. Take another breath. See how low you can go. It's only as low as you can go. If you've got those books or blocks, you can place your hands on them. Take another breath. And slowly come up. So use that pillow or block right here if you need to. And then we're going to switch. Other side. So my left, your right. You've got your sort of knee right on top of the other knee. Uh, just to, a little to the outside. Flex your toes back and come forward. So if I hold my feet, gravity pulls me forward. Nose towards your knee. And if you have to stand up, sit up, sit up. Nothing should hurt in a bad way. Everything should feel like that. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's what it should feel like. Feeling those hips. Uh, take another breath. Come back up and create that little log cabin. And again, due to my knee surgery, what I would do here for this knee is I'd put a pillow under it, but I can use sand, and that makes a huge difference, right? I just made a little pile of sand, but you should, you might have pillows, and then drop forward. <sighs> See what's going on in your hips. Maybe your IT bend. Each exhale, drop a little deeper and breathe. Breathe into your hip. Letting go. Another breath. And oh, come all the way up and straighten out your legs. Whoa! Move the sand away. <laughs> you might not have it there. Move your pile away. Bring your feet nice and wide, as wide as your mat. Ooh, and rock side to side, look over your opposite shoulder. Bring your feet together, knees together, rock over side to side, opposite shoulder. And since we're working the hips and the butt muscles, that's the goal today for that second chakra area. If you can, bring your knees up and rock side to side. Then drop over to your right, my left. Push your heart forward. I think I'm opposite. I have no idea, but you know what I mean. Go this way <laughs> and hold it there. So you're finding a sore place in your butt. If you have the option to straighten your legs, do that. Three more breaths. Back to center. Swing the other way. Find that sore point on your butt. You can rock a little forward and back if you want, but find it. Hold it. Push your shoulders together. And if you have the ability to straighten your legs, do that. Three more breaths. One more, and come back to center. Straighten out your, I'm doing my left, you do your right. 
I don't know, yesterday apparently it was backwards, so I'm not sure why that's happening, but I'm assuming you're seeing me backwards, so that's why I'm doing it this way, but you understand. This is a video, a very professional video. All right, take your forearm and pull in that left leg, my right. Pull your toes back, All right? Well, I'm pulling it toward my body. And then I'm gonna take my right hand and push it into my sacrum. And then release your hand and just pull that leg up. Take another breath. And come back. Now hold that foot and take your elbow against the inside of your calf. And now try that. Or I actually like to hold it like this. Can you feel it, see that? Good, take another breath. All right, and then take your elbows and hold in. Now, if that's not an option, you can also do it this way. Right, I'm just creating that hip stretch. See what works for you, and then start to drop forward. You're getting this more in your hamstring than your hip as you drop forward, but you get the general idea. Take another breath. Come back, keep your hands there and bend your knee. Right. So now my foot, my ankle's right on my thigh and I'm feeling it in my, my right, your left hip. Take another breath. Hands behind you, keep that ankle on your thigh and lift up. Ten. all the way down and rock a little side to side gentle stretch in the hip come all the way down so that your foot's on the ground and look over your opposite shoulder good come back to center release your hands from sand <laughs> hold the bottom of your hamstring and straighten up that leg Okay, that's option one. Option two is reach further out. See if you can grab that foot. And here's option three. You're gonna take, I'm taking my right, take your left, to the outside of your foot and bring your other hand back behind you. So you get a little balance with it. Take another breath in whichever way you're choosing to do this and then bring your arms up as you keep your leg where it is. So you're getting your belly, which is part of that chakra right here. Three more breaths. Use your core. Bring your leg almost to the ground, but not quite touching, and reach for the sky. One more breath. Come all the way down. And do a little forward fold. <sighs> Bend your elbows, forehead towards your knee. All right, slowly up. Feet as wide as your mat, rock side to side. How are those hips doing? I can feel mine, I'll tell you that. All right, other leg, my right, your left, I believe. Whatever works for you. <laughs> take your right arm and pull in as you take your other hand and look over your shoulder. And I like to grab my foot here. And then keep looking over your shoulder as you grab your foot on the bottom of your foot and take your elbow against the inside of your calf. Sit up tall. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how that one worked out. I was sort of trying something new that I made up. Because if you know me, I always make up at least one thing. All right. In my professional videos here, flex your foot. Come, half, come halfway down and hold that so you feel it more in your hip. Sometimes it's weird just talking to my phone. <laughs> I know you're out there. And then come all the way down. Oh. Take another breath. Feel that hamstring. And notice how your hamstring's related to your hip, right? You're getting a stretch all the way into your lower back. Come all the way up and bend that knee and hold it there. Feel that in your hopefully right hip. <sighs> One more breath. Release your hands back behind you and rock side to side. And then all the way down so your foot's on the ground and look over your opposite shoulder. Push your shoulder blades together. Come back to center. 
and hold your hamstring as you straighten. Okay, that's option one. Option two, reach out. Maybe grab your foot. And option three, put, take your hand on the outside of that foot and bring your hand back behind you or on your safe room. And the more you bring your leg across your body, if you're doing this, the deeper that stretch. Take two more breaths. Come back to center. Leave your leg where it is. Reach for the sky. If that works for you. And almost to the ground, not quite touching. Three more. Use your core. And then come all the way down. A little forward, forward. Bend your elbows, forehead towards your knee. <sighs> Note letting go. Coming back to center. Feet as wide as your mat. Rock side to side. Oh, so much looser, right? So the classic hip stretch is the pigeon in, in, in its various forms. So let's do that. But um, start out this way. So I'm bringing my left. I think that's your right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm confused today. Bring your other leg over to the side so your foot's on your thigh. And then reach up. And from this position, we're going to just do a little twist. Take your left hand over to your knee, to your right knee, and swing your arm back behind you and twist. So sit up nice and tall. Take another breath. And then both arms up. We're going to twist the other way. To your opposite knee and twist. And then bring both hands back behind you. If you can come onto your forearms, do that. But either way, you want your knees to stay down. So now we're getting the inside of the hip. And I'm getting unbelievably sandy. <laughs> and bitten by little ants. Bring your heart. Take another breath here. Oh. Now push your knees down and your hips up. Use your hands to pull yourself forward or push yourself forward and then come forward. Bring your arms straight. Now that may be enough to stay in this position. If you have the option, bring that leg back behind you into a pigeon. And I've got sand here. I can make a little pillow for my ankle, but you can actually use a pillow or a block under your ankle. Usually it feels a lot better to me anyway. And then come all the way down. Use your hands to make a fist one on top of the other and support your forehead. Or you can use a pillow or blocks to support your forehead, but just let yourself, let your head be fully supported. And then if you want a deeper stretch, I'm just gonna look at you. If you want a deeper stretch, move that leg back towards center and your hip, so my right, your left, down toward the ground. Ah, oh. supporting your head. Three more breaths. Oh. And then both hands over to my right, hopefully your left, and reach. So your palm is lifted and your left forearm's down as you stretch out the outside of that hip. Oh, one more breath. Come back to center, straighten out your arms and bend your back knee. So this is option one, just keep your knee bent. Option two, move that right hand to center. Remember, I'm doing the opposite. And grab your foot. If you can grab from the inside, that's a little more of a stretch. Bend your back elbow and come up on your fingertips. That's option one. Option two is to lift that arm up and take three more breaths. One more. Lift eye, look at the sky. And come all the way down. So now we're going to go right into Downward Dog. I'll go this way. Oh my God, it's so sandy. <laughs> and bend just your right knee and hold it for a breath so you feel that hip. Then bend your left knee. I know I said we were sitting, but hey, just this once. Try it again so you're getting your hips. And the other. And come down onto all fours and come the other way. Oh. 
hot. <laughs> the things I do for you guys. I'm so full of sand. All right, other side. So your foot's on your thigh. And first, we're gonna sit up tall. And then twist. So my left hand's going on my right knee. And you're gonna do the opposite. And then my right hand or your left onto your sacrum, look over your shoulder. Or your hand can go down onto the ground. I think that's a little bit of a deeper stretch. Both arms are straight. Oh, feels so good. And then the other way. Oh, yeah. And come forward when you're ready. Now, you could just have your hands here, or you can use your hands or your block to support your forehead. Another breath. Straighten out your arms. I don't want you to think I forgot this one. Oh yeah. So this is option one, your hands behind you, heart up. Option two, onto your forearms. Option three, all the way down. Three more breaths. Push your knees down into the ground. Feel that stretch on the inside of your hip. Oh yeah. All right, straighten out your arms. Bring your hands back in front of you and swing your leg back behind you. So you're my left, your right. Uh, heart up. That's option one. Option two, come all the way down. And use your fists, your one hand on top of the other. Two, I'm gonna keep my hands straight so that I can see you. To create a deeper stretch, move that back leg more to center and push that hip down to the ground. And take three more breaths here. Nice long and deep breaths, breathing into your hip. And then both arms over towards your foot. Drop your right forearm, reach with your left, lift up that forearm. Take another breath. Back to center and back to downward dog. Then just this time, turn your right toes inward and bend that right knee. So you're gonna feel it deep into that hip. If you wanna lift that foot a little off the floor, you can. Your choice, take another breath and straighten out that leg. Turn your left toes inward and bend, lift it if you want to. Take another breath. All right, onto all fours. And onto your backs. Move your sand away, move the ants away. You know, <laughs> somehow I don't think that's happening to you in YouTube land. All right, onto your backs. So we're working the hips, right? But we're also working this whole area of the second chakra, so of course we have to do a little core work. Also because it's my class. <laughs> oh, and I get to do what I need to. So I'm looking at you, hands behind your head. Get your elbows out to the side and arch your back so your chin's up. And then flatten your back, lift your tailbone, and come up into a crunch. Hold your crunch. Elbows forward, elbows to the side. You're lifting your tailbone, engaging your core. Elbows forward, come a little further. Arms up to the side. Elbows forward, lift a little further. Keep your feet down and just twist over to your left. Keep lifting your tailbone and then to your right. Here now we're getting the hips and the core. Left, right, and then bring your knees together. Hold your, tuck your knees together. If you want, you can use a block. I don't have one. Lift your tailbone and same thing. Left, right, forward. Elbows out, elbows forward. Now push your knees away a little bit. Try it again. Left, lift that, keep that tailbone lifted. Keep your waist cinched. Forward, elbows out, elbows in. Straighten your legs. Flex your feet. Only do what you can do. So you might want to keep, you might still be here, right? And try it again. 
left, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, come forward, come all the way down as you inhale, and then forward as you exhale, inhale down, now this time, as I'm doing inhale down, exhale, you can keep your feet down, bent, or straight. So don't hurt your back, right? Can you still see me? Yes. Do which one works for you. So I'm coming down as I inhale, and forward as I exhale. Inhale down, flatten your back. Keep it going. Two more times. One more time, and then hold it for five breaths. So either bent, down, or straight. Keep that tailbone lifted. Support your lower back. One more breath. All right, come all the way down. Oh. Arms out to the side, rock side to side, all the way to the ground. Oh. Or not all the way to the ground. Now do a big circle on your lower back, one way and then the other. We're gonna take your right leg over your left. Remember when we were sitting and we were doing that? We're gonna do the same thing as if we were sitting. Just bring those legs towards you, start feeling the right hip. Take another breath and then switch, grabbing your feet. Pulling those legs towards you. Now you feel your left hip. One more breath. Oh. And bring your knees to your chest. Start, hold the back of your thighs and start to rock forward and back. Oh. So you're giving your spine a massage. I'm giving my face a spray of sand, <laughs> so you could imagine that. And then come right up to seated. <sighs> and breathe, check in with your hips. And before we finish, let's just do a gentle twist here. Arms out, reach for the sky. Take your right hand to your left knee, uh, left hand to your right knee, and swing your hand back behind you and look over your shoulder. Both arms are straight, arms up, and other side. Really push away with your front hand and up with your back. Here we started. Back to center. Bring your hands onto your knees and just do a nice little circle around for those hips. They should be in very soft now. That flow of water, that second chakra is in a beautiful balance. Oh, tuck your chin. Bring your hands to your heart in prayer. Take those thumbs and push into your chest and add, take a big inhale as you exhale, bowing down to honor your heart. And as you stay in your prayer, yes, I have a words to a song for you by Mike Love. Ironically, love will find a way. Mm, yes. I want to be good. I want to do better. I want to live long, be strong, but I know I won't live forever. Because we are the ones who wipe away, who wipe away the poison that's been seeping into the heart, that's been keeping us apart. Get down to the heart of the matter. All you're going to find out is all that matters is the heart, and at the end of the day, love will find a way. And let that be our prayer today, that love will find a way into the hearts of all beings and into the heart of this planet. Let love heal the planet, heal each being, each heartbeat on this planet. 
sending healing, sending love, sending the knowledge, the belief that love will find a way from my heart to yours. Thank you so much for joining me this morning for this short hip session. If you're willing to do a meditation after this, it will be up on YouTube also for water element meditation. Love to you all. Mwah.